pause and hold it. Don't turn it off, just pause the shit. Somebody just asked me. See, I like good questions, and if I have time, I'll tell the story. Somebody just asked me, yo, Tobes, did Easy e tell you guys to stay away from the death row beef? From the death row beef? Check this out. We got to Ruthless. We got to Ruthless when the death row Ruthless beef was cracking. So they thought they were going to overpower my boy because my boy was by himself. But you know, Destiny's a motherfucker. Destiny yeah. took Toker and the brown side click over there. Destiny took Toker and the brown side click to Ruthless. I don't know how the fuck it happened, but it happened. We walked up in, in the Ruthless office. I guess easy spec to see two or three motherfuckers. They was like 20 motherfuckers. <laughs> they only let like 13 of us in and the rest stayed out there in the parking lot and all six lowriders that we drove up in. The rest of us was inside the office. Had everybody scared. Jerry had to lock the room, lock this motherfucking office. And uh, all the, uh, the bodyguards and shit, big ass seven feet motherfucking tall bodyguards, they were shaking in their boots and shit. And we had all the secretaries like tripping the fuck out, all big booty secretaries. I don't know why the fuck Easy had nothing but big, badass, little ass, weight, big booty secretaries. I used to ask Easy when I finally knew him real good. I was like, dog, you fucking him? Nah, nah, man. You ain't fucking him? Nah, talk to you, you ain't fucking him, I'ma fuck him. Oh, man, Tokes, I ain't fucking him. He was fucking lying. He was lying. So anyways, we showed up. We showed up. To make a long story short, I'm gonna I'm I'm bypass a lot of shit. This story right here is gonna be in my book. All this shit's gonna be in my book. From day one, how I met him, what went on in the office, how we hit it off, how many motherfuckers we ran up on, how many fucking times we put the muzzle in motherfuckers' mouth for easy. All this shit's gonna be in my book. But the death row, ruthless beef. When I told E, we rolling with you, dog. We rolling with you. I'm bypassing a bunch of shit because I'll be here all week trying to explain what happened when we first met. But to make a long story short, we told E, we rolling with you, fool. We got your back. What's cracking with this death row ruthless shit? Who you want gone? Because we ain't fucking around. Nah, nah, Tosh, it ain't even like that. I said, it is like that. Who you want gone? You tell us who the fuck you want gone so you can make a statement. Don't worry about it. Yo, Lil Sharp, how old are you? 16? Yo, Lil Crook, how old are you? Like 15? All right, don't worry about it, E. I'm going to send my little young juvenile torpedo so they can go ahead and do YA life. They're going to let my boys out when they're 22 years old. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They were like, well, what's up, little homies? They said, we got it. We got it. Just name the fool. I'm like, what's cracking? E says, God damn, like that. I says, yeah, like that. God damn, Toast, man, I like you. I'm fucking with you. Everywhere he went, he called his Mexicans. He called his motherfucking brown brothers. Where you at? What's cracking? Swoop up over here, come in the Lolos. He be in Beverly Hills at an expensive restaurant. 20 motherfucking Mexicans drive up. 20 Chicanos, Mexican, Latinos drive up. Bang the fuck out. Bang the fuck out. Walk up in them expensive ass restaurants. He's got a fucking table for everybody. People look like, God damn, a Beverly Hills, my own oh, honey, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck, what the fuck, honey? What the fuck, honey? So everybody sit back, fucking just cut it up easy, laughing like a motherfucker. Hoping we ran into somebody from that row. Hoping. Because we wanted to make a statement. We wanted to make a statement. But luckily, never. We never did. We wanted to make a statement so bad, I wanted to show my brother from another mother that these brown motherfuckers had his back to the fullest. And you know what happened after that? My brother E felt good as fuck because he knew he had motherfuckers down with him to the end. To the end. To the end. I told a story last night on the Toker show at the Cheesecake Factory over there on Venice. Is it Venice? Santa Monica, the cheese, they got a cheesecake factory out there. Yeah. Venice, Santa Monica, somewhere out there. Yeah, we're all in Lolo's. Easy was fucking some little female, <laughs> little badass female, I don't know, I think his, I think he had a kid by, a, well, I won't give that bitch up. Easy was fucking one of them, he had his green 63, and over at the cheesecake factory, they valet your shit. So Easy pulled up first, and there was like five, six Lolo's behind, it was us. 
So he pulled up first, the valet people came, grabbed his car, and it was like seven, eight motherfuckers that claimed death row waiting for their cars to pull up because they were leaving the Cheesecake Factory. Right when my boy E walked past him, they all surrounded him. What's up? And they were saying the N-word on him. What's up, motherfucker? Yeah, fool, this is that, that roll, what, what, what? And my boy looked, and my boy knew it was like 20 <laughs> motherfuckers coming in. He knew it was like 20 motherfucking gangbanging, ball head gangbanging Southside motherfuckers coming in that had his back to the fucking fullest. So they surrounded my boy talking shit. And all of a sudden, them seven, eight motherfuckers looked around like, <laughs> we're surrounded. They thought they were at a Mexican soccer field surrounded by Mexican <laughs> soccer players, but it was us. It was us. I was like, what's up, motherfuckers? Oh, what's up, S.A.? Nah, nah. What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> they were looking at me like, why is this fucking Mexican talking shit to us? I said, what's up, man? You motherfuckers got beef with my brother Easy? They were like, oh, damn. You motherfuckers got beef with my little brother Easy? You got beef with me, motherfuckers. And then my little homie started coming out with the heat. They were like, no, man, yo, E, check this out. I was like, oh, yeah, break it down like bitches you are. Break it down like bitches you are. E started cracking the fuck up. Yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, motherfuckers. I said, yeah, homie, this is brown side ruthless, motherfucker. This is brown side ruthless. Let it be known, homie, E's fucking with some real cheese now. You fools want to do this music this and shit? But we want to do some straight out 187 on the street shit, so you motherfuckers call it. Them bitches jumped in their fucking car so fast, and I let them know, in case you want to go home and get your motherfucking pea shooters, in case you motherfuckers want to go home and get your straps, come on back, because we going to be here at the Cheesecake Factory for a couple hours, homie. We got ease back. So we went inside, but I told like four little homies, hey, homies, you got to stay outside. Them fools show up, man. Just bust caps on them fools, man. <coughs> do what the fuck you gotta do. Valet people didn't even call the cops because they were all Mexicans anyways and they fucking knew who I was. So we had it cracking. We stayed right there. It was time to go, but he just said, nah, let's wait for them motherfuckers. i like, they ain't coming back, dog. They ain't coming back, man. I'm hoping they, they he was like, I'm hoping they come back. The motherfuckers didn't come back. I had four of my homies outside with glizzity glizz, glizzity glizz eyes waiting for them fools. That's my motherfucking story. That's my answer to that question, whoever fucking sent me that question. That's how we used to have my boys back, man. That's why he had nothing but brown motherfucking love for us, man. Straight up. Homie, hit me with some music, Rory. Yeah, all right, Hell yeah. yeah. All this shit's gonna be in my book, homies. And when we make the movie, I'm gonna make sure that scene, I'm gonna make sure that scene makes it. When we make the movie, I'm going to make sure that scene makes it. And I'm going to put another scene in there when we got down at a parking lot at the Ruthless Showcase. Yeah. The Ruthless Showcase. That Easy E threw it at the Palladium or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. With bones and everybody. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put that one in there. We were in the parking lot throwing fucking down. Fat Five Freddy showed up with a motherfucker who owed me like 250 G's. He was running from me. One of my boys said, oh, look who's showing up. Oh, Fat Fire Freddy, homie, fucking, oh, he almost pooped on himself. He was with the wrong person at the wrong time. I'm going to put that fucking scene in there, too. That's another story, but I'm not getting into that, homie. That's how I get down, homie. This is as real as it fucking gets. You know what? I want to hear that shit, dog. Yeah.